My name is Alfreda Felder Evans. I am the youngest sister of the now late Eric Felder, who was the victim in the above reference case. I am writing to the court today to explain how I have been traumatized by O'Shea Jackson's senseless act of violence against my brother and in effect against my entire family. I cannot imagine what it must have felt like for my brother as he laid on the ground with that ultimate with what ultimately became a fatal gunshot wound to his head. That type of pain and anguish should not be inflicted upon anyone without justifiable cause. Recently at the trial, I continually asked myself, how is it that a person can decide to drive at least 15 miles to a specific location knowing he was going to commit such a heinous crime? Whereas O'Shea Jackson knew in his mind he was going to point a loaded gun at Eric's head and ultimately pull the trigger, then leave the scene knowing his victim was on the ground dying in a pool of blood. On all accounts, Jackson in fact planned and executed exactly what took place on that fatal day. Whenever I think about my brother Eric, my heart aches. We were the two. We were the two youngest children with eight other older siblings. We did everything together as children, and our relationship continued in that same manner as adults. We communicated frequently, and when I moved to West Palm Beach 10 years ago, I left a piece of me with him. When I would return to Hastings to visit with my family and friends, his house was always my first stop, even before visiting with our own mother. We had a unique and special relationship, and because of O'Shea Jackson's actions, that relationship and bond was forever terminated on June 23, 2011, at the evil hands of O'Shea Jackson. I did not have my brother anymore, and my life and my family's life will forever be changed. I know, I know life is about choices, good and bad. I also know that behind every bad action, there are consequences and repercussions. In this case, Jackson took it upon himself to take a human being's life, and there should be significant penalties for the heinous crime that he committed against Eric Felder. His immoral character was narrated in court when he showed absolutely no remorse for taking a human being's life. He had months to sit in jail and think about what he did on June 23, 2011. He never apologized to my mother, my siblings, or even eight, Eric's eight children. He only crafted new lies and twisted stories about what took place that horrible day. Compassion is a word commonly used for and by defendants. However, I ask how much compassion did the defendant consider when the decision was made to murder Eric? It was because of Jackson's complete disregard for Eric's life and his family's life that I respectfully request that the courts impose the maximum sentence for the crime he committed on that tragic day. I wish to express my sincerest gratitude for all for allowing this opportunity of expression. Thank you, sir. Based on the indictment filed, uh, presented by the grand jury, and, and you're having him found guilty after trial of the uh, uh, crime of secondary murder with a firearm. Is he ordered judgment and sends to this court that you be adjudicated guilty of that offense? That you be committed to the Department of Corrections for a period of 40 years? That you be given credit for the time that you already served? That you uh, have, will serve a minimum mandatory sentence of 25 years? That uh, you will pay court costs amount of $418, cost prosecution amount of $100, a public defender application fee of $50, and attorney fee of $100. Restitution will be. Uh, Reserved uh, if that was a, uh, something that Mr. Mathis restitution. No, sir. Uh, restitution not be ordered. Uh, that, uh, that how much credit? No, this is one thousand one hundred and thirty-three days. Uh, you'll get credit for the one thousand one hundred and thirty-three days time he's already served. Uh, Mr. Uh, Jackson, did you hear? Did you understand the sentence that I passed? Do you have any questions? Uh, you are advised to do have a right to appeal this judgment and sentence within 30 days. Do have a right to have an attorney assist you in that appeal. The important officer want to represent you. I do uh, uh, want you to go there, please. Yeah. 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 Y